boys and girls, it's Mrs. Nice here, and I'm bringing you your writing lesson. I'm so excited. Mrs. Parks is a little busy today, so she asked me to do your writing lesson. How exciting. So I want you to pretend that I have my mini ears on just like Mrs. Parks does when she does a mini lesson. Do you see me with my ears? Awesome. I know you're good pretenders, friends. I need for you to grab some items, okay, so we can do our writing lesson. First, I need you to get the writing that you've been working on this week. It could be in your writer's notebook, or it could be papers that you're working on. So grab that for me. Also, there's two other things I want you to get, so don't leave yet. I want you to get your green folder that we gave you and your red folder. Your green and your red folder. Writer's notebook, any writing? Green folder, red folder. Hit pause and go ahead and get those things and come back to me. All right, writers, you're back. Today, our mini lesson is about spelling. Why is spelling important? What do you think, friends? I agree. Spelling does help you be a better writer and reader. So spelling is very important. My friend Sarah wanted to talk to you about spelling. So I'm going to show you her video about spelling. Let's listen to Sarah. Hi, second graders. I was working on some of my writing and I started thinking about you and I started thinking about other kids in the world. And I was reminded of this story that happened to me uh, one time when I was teaching a little kindergartner. Um, I was teaching kindergartners that they could choose like their favorite stuffed animal and draw about it. And I was working with a little boy named James and James had two two uh, stuffed animals in front of him. There was a giraffe and then there was a puppy. And what James did was he, he was like, oh, the giraffe, I love that giraffe. And he picked up the giraffe and said, I'm gonna write about the giraffe. I'm gonna draw and write about it. And then he went and he got his paper and then he went to draw it. And he said, mm, I don't really know how to draw a giraffe. Never mind. I'll just draw the puppy. And I thought to myself, oh no, like, James really wanted to draw the giraffe, but he was scared to give it a try because he'd never done it before. It felt hard. And it got me thinking about some of the things that could be hard for second graders and bigger kids. And one of those things is spelling longer words. So I thought we would take some time today to talk about one way that you can work to tackle longer words when you need to spell them in your writing so that you you don't do kind of like what James did that one time when he was like, eh, never mind, and choose an easier word to spell. So today I want to teach you that there's a way to try to listen for the sounds in long words and write them down. So when you're spelling long words, one of the things that helps is to listen for the syllables or the parts of the word to write the sounds for each part, and then to use a vowel in every part. So I wanna show you how I do that with one of the words in my writing, and then I'm gonna give you the chance to try it so that you can do it all the time. All right, so I was drafting the first page of my story about my friend Hillary uh, leaving after being here all summer. And it says, Hillary was my best friend, she had been here all summer and today she was leaving. It seemed like Hillary had just arrived yesterday. I wanted to write that word yesterday. I could say, yeah, I'll just skip that word. I'll just say uh, something else or I just won't write that word. But you know what? I want to write that word. It seemed like Hillary had just arrived yesterday. So the first thing I need to do is I need to listen for the syllables in the word or clap the parts. So watch me as I do it and you can do it with me. Yesterday. Yes, der, day. One more time. Yes, der, day. 
okay, now I'm gonna write it part by part. Yes, yes. Oh, I know how to write the word yes. Okay, yes, ter, 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 okay. Yes, ter, day. Oh, I know how to write day too. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure every part has a vowel. So let's see, the first part I wrote was yes. Does it have a vowel? Mm -hmm. It has an E. The next part I wrote was ter. Wait a minute, it says T-R, doesn't have a vowel. I gotta put a vowel in there. Wonder what would look right, I think an E. Yes, ter, now it has a vowel, day. It has a vowel there, okay. It seemed like Hillary had just arrived yesterday. Do you see how I did that? I tackled that long word and you were probably doing it along with me. We said the words, we heard the parts, we wrote it part by part and checked to see that there was a vowel. So let's try this again together. Let me write my next sentence. We did everything okay there's gonna be a long word next together together so what i want you to do is i want you to get your paper and your pen and let's try this one together just on whatever piece of paper you have nearby okay we did everything together so we're not going to say ah, let's just skip it we're gonna to try to write it together. So the first thing we need to do is say that word together and clap the parts. You ready? Together, together. Okay, now let's write it part by part. Two, can you write that part? I'll write it and then I'll show it to you. Okay, you're ready to see if you did it the same way I did it? Okay, to gev, gev, gev. Can you try to write that part? Gev. Don't forget the vowel. All right, see if yours looks kind of like mine. Okay, together, er, I hear er, okay. Make sure this part has a vowel. That's the tricky part there. All right, take a look, see if you got close. Together. I remembered to put a vowel in this last part. Let's check that every part has a vowel. Two, that has a vowel. Gev, that has the vowel E. Er, that has the vowel E too. All right, writers. Well, now you know that one thing that you can do when you get to a longer word um, is listen for the syllables, write the sounds, and use a vowel. Now, today, when you go off and you do your writing, you've got a few decisions to make. Are you finishing up a piece? Might you revise or go back to a piece and make it better? Or will you start a whole new story? No matter which of these things you do, remember that if you get to a long word, you've got a way to figure it out. Happy writing. All right, boys and girls, my friend Sarah came up with some really good strategies to help you with your spelling. Now, today, I would like for you to grab that green folder and I want you to take a look at this paper inside that folder. It's a narrative writing checklist. Narrative writing checklist. I'm going to show you on my webcam here. All right. So I think we've seen this before in first grade, our checklist. I want you to turn to the second page 
look at the second page here. And do you see the word spelling? Let's see, can you be a good detective and find the word spelling? There it is, spelling. So we're going to use this checklist to look at our writing, our spelling in our writing. And then we're going to check off if we're there. So let's look at my writing. And let's look at the spelling of my writing. And we'll get back to that checklist. Okay. So I started this story. And I wanted to check the spelling in my writing. Now, my friends in my classroom know that I'm not the best drawer. So I didn't draw any pictures, but I left the space to draw pictures later. Because I just wanted to get my writing down. But you absolutely put your drawings there. They're important. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to check my writing. Now, you have tools that you can use. You have a word wall. Now, in that red folder, there's a word wall paper. You can use that to spell words. Also, we made a padlet, and that is on your s'more. So I'm going to check my spelling here, and I want you to help me out. Lucy's belly was grumbling. But everything looks right there. She was hungry, so she wanted to go to Chick-fil-A for lunch. Oh, I see some spelling errors here. Um, hungry, there's no E-E -E on the end of hungry. It's a Y. Okay, so sh she was hungry, so she wented. Wented? Oh, I must have used the wrong veil here. Wanted. Wanted to go to Chick-fil-A for, what is that? I think I was trying to say lunch there. Let me see if I clap that out. Lunch. Lunch. Oh, I don't have the ch sound. So let me write that again. Lunch. Now notice, friends, when I'm correcting my writing, I'm just crossing it out and writing the right word on top. So that's what I want you to do when you look at your writing today. That's what I want you to do when you look at your writing today. So I'm going to go back and look at my checklist. Okay. I used what I knew about spelling patterns to spell a word. Our friend Sarah had some great strategies to clap it out. She, um, she also said to look for vowels in your syllables for long words, to clap it out. So you can do that when you're, when you're um, looking at your words. So you could check off, did I do it like a second grader? Not yet, starting to, or yes. So then you would check off if you, all of your words are spelled right. Then, under here for spelling, the second part I want you to look at is the word wall. Now, you have that word wall paper from your red folder, or the word wall that I made for you. Now let's see, did I do it like a second grader? I spelled all of the word wall words correctly and used the word wall to help me figure out how to spell other words. So did you do that? Were you there? Not yet. Are you starting to get there? Or yes, you got there. So that's what we want you to do today, friends. So go ahead and look at the writing that you wrote this week and make sure your words are spelled right. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have a great day and enjoy the beautiful weather. Bye.